up? It's your girl, Lala Shantae. If you are new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post videos. If you are returning, I am sorry that I made you wait this long, but I am back. I am back. <laughs> I had to take a moment, y'all, to just kind of I just step back, you know, take a moment to just focus on me, focus on the baby. It is a lot being a new mom, y'all. So I just needed a breather. And I missed y'all though. Like I really, really missed talking to y'all. So what I have for y'all today, cause y'all know I'm all for the mommy. I'm all for the mommy hacks, the mommy tips, all of that. So I'm gonna do like just, a quick little what's in my bag <laughs> specifically my diaper bag yes mom life one-on-one -on -one. <laughs> all right so let's get into this what is in my bag this is like y'all when i get know that i have to leave the house with the baby this is literally everything that i have in his diaper bag and you know it might help somebody why so first off <laughs> The bag that I have, which I absolutely love, absolutely love, it is the Eddie and Eddie Bauer. And I don't know if you can see, but I am definitely going to um, share it on the screen. So I have the Eddie Bauer um, backpack diaper bag, and I actually got it from Target. Everything will be in the description of this video. Um, the reason why I love this bag, it's called First Adventure. I love this bag because it has about like 12 pockets on it. And who doesn't love pockets? Like different places that you can put different stuff. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I absolutely love it. So the outside of the bag, um, and I'll point this out, you know, when I post it. I know I'm kind of like close up up close and personal so the outside has um like a pocket on the flat part that you open up so you know the top part a big pocket below and then one on that one so that front the front of the back honestly is like it's mine you know this is mommy items for the most part don't get me wrong the bottom is baby but i do keep a lot of like a mommy stuff in the front of the bag so right at the top of course i have my cell phone i have my headphones and then i do have some mommy things in there today this is actually the first time well i just did switch this up but i keep like extra pacifiers so that one is like you know he has his elephant attached and then this one is just like a solo one i keep extra passies in his bag um yes my baby loves his pacifier especially when he's like going to sleep um below that pocket below that zipper our next one now this is baby items again so whenever i leave in the house i hate to like take out um a huge thing of formula and yeah i breastfeed a little but i've never actually done it in public so i do carry and he's more formula fed anyway he's more formula than breasts like if anything it's mixed so um i don't like carrying the entire like formula so i actually have like a little container um it came with i think it came with like one of the gifts that someone gave him but anyway i put formula in here a couple scoops um basically to fill up whatever bottles i take out of the house i have enough scoops for that so along with that container as i already stated far as scoops um i have the scooper of course i keep that in the front of the bag also baby is currently teething right now so i carry my pumpkin butt and i will post this in the description as well so this is pumpkin butt teething oil really good it's organic and it just calms and soothes him like almost immediately and he loves the taste of it so that works out great too you just put it you know wash your hands of course put it on your finger rub it on his gums phenomenal so i keep that in the front of the bag Along with, you know, some aquaphor, 
for his little bottom. Um, another little tip or hack for that is that um, if your baby has like that baby acne or breaking out a little, put a little of that on there. Literally clears up in like a day. I keep his thermometer with me at all times just because um lj's like real, he's a really warm baby so i just always want to make sure that he's okay like it's kind of advised that i to check his temperature daily so i just do it all the time and he, i mean he's almost four months i could probably stop but i keep it on me at all times so just just me you yeah. know just me um i do have a hairbrush in here it's kind of smashed up but i have one of his brushes barely ever use it but i have it just in case a lint roller yes i'm one of those and this is for me or baby you know never know just <laughs> lint roller keep a lint roller in the bag so that is all that i keep in that front portion and let's see so below that there is another additional pocket and now this one is kind of back to mommy um just plain cut and simple i keep like a mask in there just in, you know if we go somewhere um and then i have my own little aquaphor for my lips keep that in there with my mask so that is it in that little pouch now these side pouches before we even open up the bag these side pouches the first one and i'll try to raise this up so this is wipes. It actually came with that wipe container. Um, and although this is here, so, and it's actually like really simple too. So you actually just push it and boom, wipes open up ASAP. Those wipes come in handy when I'm like, oop, I'm about to drop it. Those wipes come in handy when I'm somewhere and I just need to quick get one or let's say he spits up or something like quick and easy access when it comes to like actually changing him i still carry wipes in the inside of the bag too then the second side there's another one this is actually for his bottle and this is an insulated pouch for his bottle so i love this and of course i have a bottle in there dollar browns these are like the skinnier ones are the ones that i normally take out of the house so then once you flip that back here goes the big one so yeah i might be like an over packer i don't know but i just rather like always be safe than sorry so inside of his bag i always have a extra blanket never know what's gonna happen it's still actually pretty cool here in wisconsin so um if there's ever a situation and let's say let's just say my car stop or something i want to make sure that my baby is warm so i always have extra blankets um i have a birth a burping cloth and I, then i also carry a receiving blanket now he always have a receiving blanket on him in the car seat but i always carry an extra one clean one in his bag still cool like i said and nights get cooler so no matter what he has on i always have like an extra jacket inside of his bag inside there is another i don't know if you guys can see this so there's pouches for two more bottles and typically i will put two in there today i just have one additional bottle in there just because in reality he's on a four hour feeding schedule like we're not going to be gone for eight hours um so yeah Right behind that though, there's a zipper. Now in the zipper, I do carry a washcloth in case, you know, things get messy and I need to actually wash them down. I carry extra socks. So I have two pairs of socks and I actually have two washcloths in there. Don't know why. There is the little changing little pad that comes with the diaper bag actually. I told you I carry extra wipes so here is the wipes and I am currently using Pampers brand wipes I was using Huggies but I use Pampers diapers and now that I transitioned to their wipes I must say I absolutely love them way better than the Huggy diapers I mean the, than the Huggy wipes I'll probably get into that later but I'm telling you now give me your review they are phenomenal 
um my wallet of course whatever so i have these bags that i keep in here as well so these are actually like poop bags so if he um you know for his diaper of course if you poop and we're in public i won't just be throwing a poopy diaper just in a trash by itself i put it in this bag first and then throw it away thankfully we have not actually had to use it like you know he hasn't really pooped in public aside from oh yes he has a church once um and the bag came handy um so I, you know when mayor bag got out of church they wasn't just smelling lj's poopy diaper then i always of course keep a extra bib you know he's in that tv phase like i said so he's drooling a lot so he typically has on a bib when we leave the house but then i keep an extra clean one inside his bag an extra hat like i said it's still cool here so i want to keep you know baby warm doing right by him always keep an extra outfit or pajama whatever onesie something in his bag um and then i have of course additional t-shirts because you know when you're out and it's cool you want to always have a t-shirt underneath his clothes so i have extra that i actually keep two outfits i'm gonna be honest with you i keep two full outfits so one is just like a full outfit and um the other one is like you know a set like a shirt a top and bottom so i keep that you know in case anything happens you never know with babies then i have diapers so normally i have about i don't make keep like five or six diapers inside of his bag um you know i just once again it's rather safe than sorry so i just keep you know extra diapers in because you never know what can happen like we can go out and he can have the runs or something so, oh, <laughs> i pray it does not happen i wish i had some wood next to me and i not got it but so far so good so uh, that is it that is pretty much everything that i keep in his bag this is like my ritual my routine like on sunday before sunday you know we go to church on sundays so i normally prepare his bag on saturday night and i get all this together sometimes i you know sometimes it's all in here already i don't really have to change much out but maybe add the burp cloths in the blanket or something and of course the bottles um also with the bottles i do put the water in them typically before i leave the house um yeah i don't take them out without the water because then you know what we do about that so i do put the water in them and yeah i put the water in them and yeah so this is like life with a baby you know and I always put my things in it. If you want to know, I put my things in it because you don't want to go through that like hassle of having to carry your bag plus the baby bag and so forth. Like make it simple and sweet. Like add your things to the, di the baby's bag. Like why not? So it's a mom's bag all together. So that is it that is all i have for you guys if there is something that you carry in your diaper bag that i possibly missed like comment and let me know because i be trying to make sure that i have everything y'all if i could take if i can fit his swing in that diaper bag i wish i could <laughs> no but seriously like you know comment let me know what it is that you carry in your diaper bag what is something like what's an essential when you and your child leaves the house like what do you have to have i know like he's not a toddler yet so of course i don't have to have snacks or anything but oh i didn't miss something i do carry hand sanitizer in his diaper bag because yeah typically when we leave the house like a lot of times we're going around people so i just i want to make sure that i have that before you touch my child um and then also when going to the grocery store like today we you know today we're doing the grocery store whole thing and um you know i'm touching things i don't want to necessarily touch all this stuff then touching on him so hand sanitizer and then lastly this doesn't necessarily go in his bag but it's with us it is like one of his little toys um he you know can hold it gives him that hand grip you know rattles it and then also chews on it because once again he's teething really bad right now so 
And yeah, if it's something that you have in your bag, what's your essentials? Like comment below and tell me like, what is your go-tos? What is What are your essentials when you're leaving the home with your baby? Like, what do you take out of the house? Or, you know, what do you put it in? How do you carry more than one bag? Like, I want to know the tea. And if this video helped you, go ahead and comment below. Just giving me those kudos, those props, telling me that it helps you out because I am here for my mom. <laughs> because i am truly here for my moms so that is a wrap y'all until next time if you are not subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you know when i post new videos also find me on social media tiktok twitter instagram all la la shante everything is in the description that you need anything that was in this bag in the description I will see you gals next time. Thank you for tuning in.